Something's been going on nights this spring at Broadkill Beach. Horseshoe crabs have been on the move, but not necessarily under their own power. It's part of an effort to get the spawning horseshoe crabs out of the way of a long-awaited beach fill project. Broadkill Beach has for decades sought sand to protect the community from flooding. Now it is getting sand, compliments of the Army Corps of Engineers. In the midst of deepening the Delaware River navigation channel, the Army Corps was ready to dredge the section at the mouth of the Delaware Bay. The result? A beach fill for Broadkill, free of charge, so to speak, with the federal government picking up 100% of the cost. The timing of the project, which overlaps the spawning season of the horseshoe crab, spurred an unusual intervention. By hand, by basket, and by beach buggy, the volunteers moved the crabs out of harm's way. Yeah, we're going to put them down a piece of beach. They, they won't re-nourish until much later. Uh, the crabs will have a chance. It's a shallower beach, a shallower slope, and the crabs can climb on up, um, spawn, and eggs will hatch in 30 days, and they, they won't get buried. The volunteers were led by this woman, Julie McCall. Julie, a Broadkill resident and an environmental activist, was drafted by Weeks Marine, the Army Corps' dredging contractor, to help with a horseshoe crab rescue. I, for the last, oh, six or seven years, I'm the person who does the official crab count at Broadkill Beach. company started asking around and said, who's the person that knows about horseshoe crabs here? And somebody gave him my phone number, so here we are. She said it is far too early to tell if this experiment will work. But if nothing else, she said, the partnership with Weeks Marine was a success. The work crew out there on the beach um, really became interested in what we were doing and have, have greatly participated. They've really been part of our crab relocation team. And it was not in their job description. Um, I don't think they ever thought that that's what they were going to be doing out there. But they, there were people who probably thought I was sort of crazy when I walked in there and started talking about the crabs and um, ended up really working with me and the volunteers on this. And, and we've really had fun together doing it, figuring out how do we do it. We didn't know. It's never been done before. We have no idea how we were even going to do it. So all of the guys on that crew have, have become part of this project. That, that in itself um, is a kind of success that I wasn't even thinking about. Females, they got claws like a crab, is their back one. And what it is, here, they got double shell. And in between each shell, between the both shells, that's where all your eggs are. And you can feel this one weighs about maybe four to five pounds. If you look at the male, this is the male. You can tell by the, the back. It's like a boxing glove. That's their their claw. And that's their mouth right there. It's like bristles, like a brush. You can actually put your finger in there. Part of what this is about is, is letting people have a chance to see what an amazing thing it is to have all these crabs out here in the bay and, um, and to start feeling protective of them.